Hey guys, welcome back to Designs by Donnie. Today I'm going to show you how to build a DIY picture frame. Super easy. Let's do this. This video is made possible by my sponsor, Merca USA. Let's begin with cutting the styles and the rails for this picture frame. Using my precision miter gauge, I'm carefully going to cut the styles and the rails out. Two styles and two rails. The picture frame dimensions are going to be roughly 15 and 7 8 by 10 and a half inches. I recommend using a marking tool. This makes for easy measurements and they're the exact same each time. I'm going to make a few reference marks and these will be for my dados and my tenons. There's several ways to cut mortise and tenons. I like using my heavy duty tenon jig because this keeps everything nice and square and it makes it easy peasy. Okay guys, so this project's moving along super easy. We have got the rails cut and the styles cut for this picture frame. The styles have a tenon that we notched out on the table saw and the rails have a mortise dadoed out on them so that way they can go together like this. We will apply glue and clamp it down. All right guys, follow me over here. Let's glue these up and move on to the next step. Come on, what are you waiting for? Come on, let's go. Now that that step is done, you can clearly see what I was working on. This here is the tenon, and this here is the mortise. The two pieces will go together after we glue them, and it'll be a very strong picture frame. Okay, time for the glue up stage. But before you ask what glue I'm using, let's go ahead and cover that. Use any glue that you want to. They all work fine. I opted for tight bond quick and thick. It dries clear and it's a quick setting glue so I can move on with this project. But like I said guys, any glue will work just fine. After the glue is applied, we're going to set the frame in a couple of parallel clamps and we're going to keep it under pressure for a minimum of two hours. That will ensure the glue has completely cured out and the frame will never fall apart. Using the Merca Dayro sander with a 6 inch pad and a 220 grit Abernat paper, I'm roughly going to go over this entire frame, the sides, and all the edges and just make sure it's nice and smooth. Oh yeah, by the way, you don't see any dust, do you? That's because this is a dustless sander. This thing is legit. Time to dial in my router table. I want to get the correct depth for this picture frame and then I'm going to route out the entire middle section of this so that way the glass and the picture will be recessed into the frame. Time to clean the glass, inset the mat, the pitchers, and the backing. Let's go. Before you guys ask, I know what you're thinking, but why is the picture frame raw? Aren't you going to paint it or stain it? And the answer is yes. 
that will be part two to this video on how I finish this picture frame. It's going to be really unique and it's going to be awesome. You're not going to want to miss it. So stay tuned, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.